Super Bowl 2018, uh, Dave from Catalyst Audio. How's it going? It's going good. Um, I guess before we dive into modules, uh, 100 series uh, Buchla. Uh, why the 100 series over 200 clones, which you see a lot more of? Uh, well, first of all, because nobody had really done it yet. Uh, well, that's the kind of key number one yeah, point. Key number one point. And number two, because they're, it's such an unobtainable system. And yeah. I really wanted the opportunity. I love all the Buchla stuff and I really wanted the opportunity to patch and use one of these systems and knew that the only way that I'd ever have that chance was if I just built it myself. Yeah, and it seems like a more kind of unstable, I don't know, more difficult beast to tame, as some yeah. would say. It definitely has a, a rawness, I think, to it that you don't find in the later stuff, and um, the workflow itself is very different from the 200 series. Um, you definitely have to think about it a lot more, and it certainly leads you in, in certain paths that you wouldn't get from using other systems. Yeah, things like the gates don't have Vactrals, if I remember right, on the 100. Yeah. So the, quite a different sound. I guess that means you can take those up to audio rate modulation as yes. well. Yes, you can. Um, yeah, the whole thing is basically, um, it's all discrete electronics, so pretty much every circuit is just made out of uh, transistors, capacitors, resistors, and you know a few other diodes, a few other things. But um, there's no ICs. Uh, for the most part, there's no Vactrals. Uh, they're pretty, pretty bare bones. Um, you know, as was the technology from 19, the late 60s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Well, uh, let's walk through the rig and, and check out the patch. Okay. So what I've got going on here is I've got the dual sign sawtooth generator. It's a simple oscillator. Uh, both sides, and that is being FM'd by this other oscillator right here. I have that running down here to, this is a prototype module. It's a dual low pass gate. So actually this one does have Vactrals. This was the, the first Buchla module to actually have Vactrals. It comes out of here, goes through a VCA, two channels of that, and then just back up to the mixer where I'm mixing in a little bit of a spring reverb, which is another newer module that I'm working on. Um, so mostly what we're hearing here is the low pass gate, if I turn this up. And you can also hear the FM that's happening, but I can sweep, turn that up. I can actually go all the way down, take the FM off. I'm going to raise the pitch a little bit. And I'll sweep these from sign. It has a very pure sounding sign, which I think you can hear. And then I'll sweep it over to saw. I have a very a great plucky kind of saw sound. Uh, if I also, if I open this up a little bit, i give you a demonstration of that sort of uh, very quick gates. So you can hear that's definitely not Vactral based. Yeah, really cool. really clicky yeah. and fast. So, And the envelopes are kind of interesting too because they have this uh, duration control which is pretty, I can't think of any other envelopes I've seen that have that where you can set the duration that the gate stays open independent of any other setting. So this is actually an AR envelope right here. There's no sustain, but I'm adding duration with the duration control. I can then add de decay from that. So. Hold stage at the peak yeah. that you're adding. Yeah, exactly. You can hear, you can get some interesting, uh, like, divided rhythms when it extends over the length of the gate. Exactly, it won't re trigger in the rise and attack portion. Exactly. So you can hear that. So you can actually use it as a simple uh, divider also. But let me open this back up. Bringing these back kind of to life and, and to, to your format and making these available, 
what kind of compromises have you had to make? I remember a story, well, I think I do, you tell me if I'm wrong. Okay. Things like the reverb circuit driver, is that some yes. ridiculously expensive components? Yes. And uh, So pretty much all of these modules, the only changes that I've made when possible was that I raised the audio output levels because the original Buchlas are about one volt peak to peak. So yeah. I raised these up to about five volt peak to peak and the control voltages I've lowered down to Eurorack standard because the originals are in the range of 0 to 15 volts or so. So I dropped these down to about 0 to 8 volts maximum. Very common for envelopes. Yeah, exactly. Um, other than that, yeah, some of these, one of the control voltage processors, this is actually my own design. Um, we also have the original design available. so the 156M and the 156V. And the difference is, is, well, the reason that I did that is because in the original here, this center control is a offset, and this top control mixes between your input and your offset. So the problem is, is that if you have a one volt proactive signal coming in here, and you want to mix in any offset, then as soon as you turn that mix, then just you, scaling yeah, the you ruin and... that ability. So um, I made my own version of that with attenuverters with approximately 1.5 gain, uh, positive and negative, offset, positive and negative, and then mix just like the original. So you can have your choice if you care about one volt per octave or not. And uh, yeah, the reverb was another example where I redesigned my own reverb circuit based in, in the Buchla style, kind of based off of other later stuff, because the original used uh, transformers that now cost about $250 a piece. So I don't think anyone would want to pay, you know, $600 for a, a spring reverb. No, no, no. So the bottom row, there's a few prototypes as well. Um, yeah. This bottom row is, is all prototypes, stuff that's currently not out. I've got a dual uh, square wave generator. It's another oscillator with amplitude modulation, frequency modulation, um, very similar to the sign and sawtooth generator, but square waves. Uh, I've got the sharp cutoff filter. This is actually a pretty rare module from the 100 series. It's a 24 dB low pass, high pass, band pass filter. It doesn't have resonance, but it does have a bandwidth control, so you can control the, um, the low pass and the high pass coming together and sort of squeezing that. Um, over here, I've got the, I'm not sure what I'm going to call it yet. Right now, I'm calling it the 193, because it's a combination of the uh, 192 dual low-pass gates and the 194, which is a fixed filter bank. Okay. Um, over here, I've got what will be the sequencing section. So this is essentially a clock. It's the uh, timing pulse generator. You've got CV control over the pulse length and over the tempo. And this is the 123 sequential voltage source, and it's going to be an eight-step, three-row sequencer with pulse outputs for each step and uh, voltage outputs for each of these, each of the rows. I guess catalystaudio.com if people yes. want to find you. Exactly. Um, someone's gonna, always going to comment about price. They can go look at that <laughs> for what's right. already out. Kind of too many to run through. Um, but yeah, so the future for Catalyst Audio, you're going to be bringing, I guess, more of the 100 series, yep. Yep. some new designs as well, potentially? Yep. Yeah, definitely. We've finished these up. Uh, I've got another maybe six or so that I'd like to do uh, from the 100 series. And then I have a bunch of other ideas, so you'll Will see. Will be available as a full system, potentially, in the future? Uh, potentially. I think some retailers have been selling them as full systems already. Okay. Um, there's nothing official yet, but as I get more and more stuff out, that's we'll something see. we'd like to do, yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you.